years. There was so much energy in the air that when the first, uh, when the aircraft first arrested, it was almost like a scene from Top Gun at the end when everybody was pumping their hands, they're getting really excited. Below decks, we were the same way, and then we taxied the aircraft um, up to the bow, and before the shot happened, we were anxious, excited, nervous. I mean, every bundle of emotions that you could think of, we were all feeling it. And uh, to feel the aircraft take off a Cat 1 on emails and go into the air successfully, I mean, it was euphoric. Everybody kind of hugged and shook hands and uh, were yelling of excitement and hugging and it was a uh, it was a lot of a uh, lot of really good feelings and then after that it was just let's do it again let's do it again let's just keep let's keep arresting this aircraft and let's keep shooting her off and and uh, just doing our jobs so uh, we come out overhead the ship a little bit early just making sure that I'm gonna be there on time we get the call from the ship say yeah we're looking good weather's good training takes over and now I'm just gonna fly the ball fly it line up and, uh, and do the best I can to maintain glide slope. And then once, as soon as I'm on deck, started pumping the fist and it was so excited. But as soon as we cleared landing area and come over here and start getting gas and, and waiting, all that kind of pressure just faded away really. And now I just felt kind of at home that, uh, hey, I'm on, I'm on deck. Once uh, the aircraft ended that first arrestment, I, it was pure excitement. It was like bringing your, uh, building your house from the bottom up and actually get to get in it live in it and see it work and I got to say it was it was very exciting from from up there you're watching all the evolutions on the flight deck it is is just like if I'm launching off of the old systems the only difference is I don't see the steam uh, coming off the catapult and I think that's the the genius of the system itself is that it provides us more capability but on the flight deck, it is uh, similar, if not exactly the same, in terms of our procedures and bringing the aircraft, bringing up in the tension, uh, and then catching them in the weight settings, the wind requirements, and all that kind of stuff are, are literally the same. It's different. I think a lot of people are anxious because they didn't see the steam or hear the, you know, all, all the things that you normally hear with a, a steam catapult. But it was all, it was all good. I had some folks in the O3 level, and that's probably the noisiest place to live on board a ship during flight operations, and it was a lot quieter. Um, if you ever seen these things uh, shoot without an aircraft, uh, it's very quiet. I think the only thing you're hearing with it is the, the jet noise uh, as it's going off the end. Um, as far as the, the AAG, like I said, very transparent to the average person in terms of wa watching what happens when uh, the aircraft recovers. I, I was glad to come here today and see that uh, there's two tire tracks straddling the center line uh, right in front of the two wire. So that's exactly what we were looking for on the first pass, and that's exactly what we got. The legacy system, you have a hydraulics. This system is more electrical. So I gotta say, the difference in between the system, I love this system, is quick turnaround on maintenance, the being, being able to diagnose the system right then and there. Here at Topside, there's no difference, but down below that, we don't have to deal with the hydraulic fluid, the grease. Uh, we're at the beginning of that life cycle where we're trying to assess the capability of a new system, and that's why you know you really need some great people out there that are that the technicians and the people that are working on it. So. Um, we are kind of in its infant stage on board the ship. However, it's very mature in terms of if you look at all the tests that they've been doing back in Lakehurst uh, for quite a long time now in terms of maturing the system's capability before we even, we even operated on board the ship. You know, we've all been training to do this for a long time. Tens of thousands of people that have put their sweat and tears into building this ship, engineering it, developing it. It's the highlight of my career to have been a part of this. We've been training and training and training since day one. And uh, we took ownership of this the moment we stepped on board, and uh, we're all here, we're all a family. So between AEG, EMALS, um, and as the Air Department as a whole, we knew it was going to work. We knew it was going to take a lot of hard work uh, to get the system up and running, but we were confident in it from day one, and uh, we're still confident today, and we're, we're ready to go.